<laughs> what does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Alrighty then, we're going to be playing Viticulture solo once again, but this time we're going to be adding the first tier of the Tuscany expansion, which is the Mamas and the Papas. And so we're going to be playing with that, and then just base vanilla Viticulture. If you don't know how to play Viticulture solo, you are going to need the Tuscany expansion. Uh, go back and watch my original gameplay video if you want to see the, the different changes, and you'll probably figure them out if you just stick around and stay put. So, Mamas and Papas, very, very simple. You're going to start with the Mamas deck, you're going to start with the Papas deck, and then if you're doing it how the rulebook says to do it, you're going to draw one Mama, and you're going to draw one Papa, and then this is going to change uh, what you start with. Normally you start with a Pino card and your three bucks and your set amount of workers, so this is going to change what you're going to do. So let's see. I'm actually going to be starting with two regular sized workers, so I'll put them down there. I'm going to start with one green card and two yellow cards. Ooh la la, I like that. Uh, so that's my mama, Mama Emily, so she's very, very nice. And then Mama uh, Papa, we're going to start with five bucks, wow, really, five bucks, a grande worker, and uh, also either a trellis or a dollar, so, or not a trellis, a... Uh, yeah, a trellis or a dollar. I think we're obviously going to take the trellis. So I think you can tell, uh, when playing solo, this is definitely going to help you out and help you beat the computer opponent. But normally when you'd be playing against other players, this would just make it so it'd be a more even playing field. But uh, everyone might start with a different strategy. So obviously I'm going to start with five bucks. So I might be, you know, maybe maybe deciding off of the windmill. Which, hey, I might do that right now. Let's take a look at what cards we got. We got the Sauvignon Blanc, which is going to get us three whites. So we're going to need an irrigation system to do that. We have a tour guide who's going to gain us four bucks. We're going to be swimming in cash right now. Holy moly. And then we have the architect, which is going to allow us to build a structure at a three discount. Oh my good gravy. We are just swimming in cash right now. Uh, so if you haven't watched how to do it, like I said, go back to the old video. Uh, or you can just stick around and you'll figure it out no problem. So where are we going to start this time? We have a lot of money, so we don't really need money. I think we are going to take uh, we're going to take another yellow card. I think we're going to do that and see if I can get two yellow cards that can really help me out here. So draw another yellow card, and we got the blacksmith, which is going to build a structure at a two discount. Are you kidding me? Uh, I'm going to be able to build two structures potentially this turn. Wow. Uh, okay, so then we go ahead and get an autonomy card, and let's see what the autonomy is going to do. Of course, he's going to build one structure. Well, I guess I don't even need that because I have the yellow. He's also going to play a yellow card, because I hate him. And then he's going to sell grapes or trade for one. So that doesn't really matter to us. So we put that card over to the side, and then we are going to decide where we're going to start placing our workers. So I think the obvious choice here is that uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a victory point strategy here, where I'm going to try and just point, 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 point as fast as humanly possible. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to use my Grande Worker. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play a card, but I'm actually going to play two cards because I'm going to turn in my special ability cube right here. And I am going to build a structure to three discount. So I'm going to build the, uh, what is that, the Windmill for two coins. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Windmill for two. Ooh, no, no, no. Actually, I'm going to build the Tasting Room for three coins. So I'll turn that in and get one, two back. So I got two coins, but now I also have a tasting room, which I'll put right there. In the tasting room, when you give a tour of a vineyard, you're going to gain one victory point in addition, so that's going to be really nice. Um, and then with my second card, I'm also going to build a structure at a two discount, I think. Yeah, I'm going to do that as well, and we're going to go ahead and buy that cottage right there. We are just going to load up on cards and money and victory points early on and I think that's the strategy that I would like to go with here. So obviously the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here, we're going to give a tour, gain two coins, boom boom boom, and we're also going to gain a victory point, Hello. and then we have four coins, we don't have our uh, we don't have our Grande Worker anymore, so I think what I need to do is probably see about getting a green card and planting Because we are going to need some grapes, I would imagine. So uh, we'll go ahead and we'll go up here, and we're going to draw a green card, and what did we get? We got the Merlot, which once again, it doesn't help us because we don't have an irrigation system. But now we can have a pretty nice field going there with a 3 red and a 3 white. 
Uh, so we've used all of our workers, so the autonomy doesn't even matter. So you know what, we're not even going to bother flipping it over. We do, however, go to the uh, go to the fall phase, which means we're going to draw a card. We'll draw another yellow card. This one's going to let us to plant up to two green cards. That's fantastic, because I have two green cards left to plant. And then we're going to uh, end the year. We'll collect everything on the board, just like that. Put it back over here, get the yellows, put them up on top where we're storing them. And at the end of the first year, we have one victory point. Hey, not too bad. Not too shabby start at all. So we're going to move our rooster once again. We have four coins. We're going to need five if we want to build that windmill, though. Uh, and I do definitely want to get that windmill going so we can potentially, when you plant a vine, gain a point. So yeah, I think we're actually going to take that coin right now. So that will give us the five coins we need to build that windmill right there since we're going to go with this victory point strategy we were talking about. So, um, Autonomo, let's see what the Autonomo is going to do. He's going to give a tour to gain two coins. Of course he is, because that's what we want to do. He's going to plant, which is also what we want to do, but luckily we have a card that will let us plant. Uh, he's going to flip one property, but that doesn't affect us, because that is later on in the tiers. Um, and as I mentioned, if you, if you don't remember, we are playing with the very first tier of the Tusty expansion, of like 11 or 12, the Mamas and Papas expansion, and we start off with two special cards right there that we're going to dictate what we started with. So, I have my three workers, I got five bucks, I got two coins right here, which are really pretty nice. So the obvious thing I need to do is that I do need to give a tour to gain two bucks. So, because I get a victory point for doing that, boom, and then I also gain two bucks. So hooray, I have two bucks. Uh, next, I am going to go ahead and play a yellow card, but I'm also going to turn in my special ability cube one more time, and I'm going to play... Doo -doo -doo -doo. We're actually going to rewind real quick. We're going to rewind. We're going to put this guy back on the board, and luckily we can do that since we are playing a solo game. Uh, and we're actually going to turn around and build a structure. We're going to go ahead and build one structure, and we are going to build the windmill for five coins. Now you're saying, why do we want to do that? Because once we get this windmill, when we plant things, we're also going to get a victory point for planting them. So we are now going to go back up to the play a card, and we're going to turn in our handy-dandy little cheat cube that we have, and then we're going to play our two cards. So the first one we're going to do is we are going to gain four coins, because, yeah, we need more money, right? We'll just get another big five, and we'll turn in one. And then next, we're going to plant... Oh, I can't even do it! Oh, no! Oh, no! Um, so we're not going to go back that retroactively and cheat. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to t give back our, our cube, get back our special ability cube, and we're not going to plant because we can't plant because we don't have the irrigation system. Oh, that's frustrating. Um, so... That's the end of our turn. Uh, once again, we have not done too much, but we are going to collect our workers, collect their workers. We'd move on to the fall phase, which means we would get another card, and we'll get another yellow, because why not? This one's going to let us gain, of course, gain more money and draw one card. Uh, so we have plenty of money here. And then, uh, what do we want to start off? So we're, I'm actually getting a little bit worried right now. I think we might be in a little bit trouble. I don't know if this victory point status is going to work as well as I hoped it has. Uh, just trying to get these victory points, nickel and diming them. So you know what? I'm actually going to go and I'm going to draw a green card. Get my special ability cube, draw a green card, and we got the Cavagnon Sauvignon. Yet again, something I can't play without that stinking irrigation system. So that kind of stinks. Um... We got plenty of money, so let's see what the autonomous is going to do this turn. So they are going to har they're actually not going to do anything during this phase, so that's always nice when that happens. And I think what I am going to do is, well, I obviously need to build a structure, and we need to build this stinking irrigation system. So I'll pay three, get two back, and I'm going to build that irrigation system right there, like so. And I cannot find my irrigation system. Where did it go? Hmm. Uh, give me a pause. Oh, if you haven't already realized, I'm a little bit of a noob. It was right in front of me the whole time. So there I have my irrigation system, uh, which means I can now go ahead and do what I want to do next, which is obviously to give a tour, because I have to give a tour, because I need to get that victory point. So that gives me another victory point. And then I will go ahead and use my grande work to play a yellow card and use my special ability cube to play two yellow cards. The first one is 
I'm going to gain $3, because I need more money, and draw a green card, which is kind of nice. Uh, another Sauvignon Blanc. And then I'm going to plant up to two green cards. As you can see, that's going to let me plant up to two green cards, so that is pretty nice. So I will plant a Sauvignon Blanc. And a Merlot right there. So that's going to be a really nice, powerful field that is going to get six. And plus, we get a victory point for planting thanks to our windmill. So now we got our little machine running. I'm digging what we got going on here. Uh, we got a lot of buildings on here. Uh, and we, once again, are not going to do anything in the winter phase. We're very, we're very summer focused in this game. So uh, during the fall phase, we're going to draw yet another card, and we're going to draw a yellow card. This one is allow us to gain one coin for each field you own that has at least one green card on it. Ooh, that's gonna be three points later on. I'm calling it right now. So let's get our three dudes back. We really need to focus on getting a fourth worker, I think. I think that is essential right now. We have tons of money, and we need to be giving tours and planting each and every turn to get that maximized two bucks. So the obvious choice I think we're gonna use with our rooster, and we are three years into the game out of seven, is we're gonna go get that extra worker right now, because I think we need him right now. So we got our extra worker right there, we got two special ability cubes, and we have a lot of money. And what would we like to do? Well, we're not going to play any yellow cards this time. Oh, first thing we got to do is we got to do the Autonoma card. And he's going to draw a green card, which doesn't affect us. That's good. He's going to play a yellow card, which also doesn't affect us. And then these two have T's on them, so they are for later Tuscany expansions. So hurrah for us. Uh, so that's not going to hurt us at all. We have four workers here. So the obvious thing we need to do is we do need to plant a field. So we'll get this, uh, we'll get another Sauvignon Blanc right there, which is going to give us a nice little field there. And that will gain us a victory point, putting us up to five. Woo woo! And then we will also go over here. We're going to give a tour because that is once again going to give us two coins and another victory point. So we're up to six now. We are cruising along right now. Now, we still have two workers. Uh, we, we could plant this uh, if we wanted to use our Grande worker, but that's obviously not what we want to do because we do want to make sure that we are planting each and every turn. So I think at this point what we're going to do is we are going to pass. So we are going to now pass because I don't believe there's any structures we want to build, except for we might want to consider building a medium cellar, but I'm not quite sure of that yet. Maybe we'll do it next turn. So what we're going to do is we are going to pass, uh, and then we're going to draw another card, and I say we just stick with the yellows. Let's just keep on the yellow train. Choose to gain a coin, build one structure in its regular place, and plant one green card. So that's going to allow us to plant without having to go to the plant spot. So that's going to give us a little bit of flexibility for later on in the game. And then let's see what the Autonoma is going to do. So they are going to uh, draw a purple card and fill a wine order, which doesn't really affect us too terribly much, so that's not bad at all. And let's see what we want to do. So the obvious thing that we want to do is we want to pay four coins to get a worker. So we're going to do that, we pay four coins, and bada boom, we get ourselves another worker that we can start using next year. So now the question becomes, do I want to harvest my field and get grapes going, or do I want to get another worker? And part of me thinks I want to get another worker, because I'm going to be planting and giving a tour every single turn. So that's going to be two of my workers every turn that I'm that I'm not using. So I think what I'm actually going to do is we're going to use our Grande. we got a boatload of cash, so we're going to spend four coins, and we're going to once again get another worker. So now we got two more workers that are going to come out to play for us next year. We still haven't made any wine, so we're not going to move anything else on this track. And we are done with year number four. Uh, we definitely do need to get some of that wine out and then we can our gray guy he's been useful but we can set him over the side we're not going to use him for the rest of the game and let's see what we got so we got five workers now i'm liking that oh uh, we're going to be planting for sure and then we might turn in that yellow card so what oh, doesn't oh so let's decide what we're going to do i think i think what we're going to do is we're going to get this purple spot right here and let's purple card and we have three of these cubes man we could really use one of those uh, and let's see, this is for a four white and a two red, and it's going to give us three victory points. So that one should not be too terribly hard to achieve, but it is going to require us to get a medium seller at some point, uh, which we can probably do this turn if we get some wiggling going on, and I definitely think we will do some wiggling. So let's get some autonomous cards going. We only have two years left after this one. 
Uh, this one is you know, actually nothing. <laughs> the nothing here is going to uh, to affect us in the spring phase. So that is really good. We have five workers. That is what is going on. So obviously we need to give a tour. So that's going to gain us two coins, which puts us up to four coins. And then we're also going to gain a victory point, giving us seven victory points. And then we are going to... Hmm, yeah, I think that is the way to do it right here. Uh, we have four coins, which means we can't afford the medium seller. So yes, we are actually going to go and play yellow card, but we're going to use our special ability cube, so we get to play two yellow cards. What we're going to do first is we're going to choose two, and we are going to build one structure at its regular cost, which would be building the medium seller for all four of our coins. So there goes our four coins, but now we have the medium seller down here. And then also we are going to plant one green card. We're going to go ahead and plant our Cabernet Sauvignon into our third field right there, which is great. So we utilize that card, and since we did use our special ability cube, next we're going to do our surveyor, which means we're going to gain one point for each field you own that has at least one green vine on it. So now you see what I'm doing here. Smart as a fox! Uh, so, needless to say, we now are going to gain not one, not two, but three victory points. One, two, three. Which is going to put us up to ten points. And I almost forgot we gained a victory point for planting this Cabernet Sauvignon. So we are now up to eleven points. That is where we need to be. Uh, I'm liking this. I think we're going to crush that twenty points right now. Uh, so we have three more workers. Wow, three more workers. we got tons of options here. I don't think there's anything else we could do right now. We can't build a structure. We could... Ooh, we need to draw a green card. Yeah, we need to draw a green card. So we're going to go ahead and draw a green card. And hopefully this is a low green card. Yes, that is exactly what we're going to see. We got the Malvasia, which is worth one green... One, uh... One, uh... What color? That's white. Yes, I know my colors. I swear, I'm a preschool teacher. Uh, so then we still have two workers, but I think we're actually going to save those workers for the winter time. So now the question is, do I want to keep going with these yellow cards, or do I want to go with the, the blue cards? And I think we're going to need to go with the blue cards, because we are going to need to fill at least one wine or so. Yeah, let's do it. Blue card, and we got pay three coins to train one worker. You may use that worker this year. So not the best card to see, but definitely not a bad card to see. We can always use more workers, right? Well, we only have one left, but yeah, we can definitely use them. So... Uh, moving on to the winter phase, let's draw an autonomy card, see what happens. And it's going to take up the Harvest One field spot. Of course it's going to take up the Harvest One field scar. Uh, it's going to take up the Pay Four to train a worker, doesn't matter, and sell one wine token, which does not impact us either. Uh, so, what are we going to do here? Well, obviously we need to harvest a field because, well, we just need to. So I am going to go ahead and harvest a field, and we're also going to use our special ability cube, and we're using the Grande guy in there, to harvest two fields. And I think what we're going to do is we are going to get the, obviously, the three red and the three white. And then I think we'll do our Cabernet Sauvignon, which is going to give us a four red as well. So we got some grapes going on here. Uh, we got, we're going to have two years left, and we still have one worker left to do. So I could make wine tokens. I could make wine tokens, and I could complete this order next year, and that is a very viable option. Is that what I want to do? Like we're, gonna, I think we're going to get to 20. I think, I think we're doing pretty good, and I think those three points are what's going to push us over the top, plus we're going to get this fourth point right here. So I definitely think that is, we're going to play it safe right here, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, and we are going to make some yummy, yummy wine tokens. We'll make two wine tokens. We'll take this three white over here, and then we'll take this three red over here. Yep. So three and three, we made our two wine tokens, and that is the end of our turn. We've used everything. So let's collect all of our dudes, because we have so many dudes. Yeah, just a big old chunk of dudes. We need to age our, our wine and also age our grape, or one grape. And then we need to collect the autonomous workers. We are currently at 11 points after year five, so we're doing pretty well. we got two years left to go. I think we got this nailed. Uh, so let's see. Um... Doesn't really matter, we can take the victory point, or we can take the cube, so we'll take the cube, and we still have two special ability cubes right here. Uh, so we're not going to get anything special to start of this year, but we, oh, let's flip over an autonomous card and see what's going to happen. 
So they are going to give a tour to two. Of course, they're going to give a tour because that's what I need to do. And they're also going to build a structure. And they're also going to sell grapes. So they did all of that. Uh, oh, man. Okay, so what do I want to do right here? Well, let's get the obvious things out of the way first. I do need to plant one. So I'm going to plant this. Actually, we're going to rewind. And what we're going to do first is we're going to draw a green card first. Why am I doing that? Well, I'll tell you in a second. And this is a Chardonnay. That's not what I wanted to see. Yeah, definitely not what I wanted to see. That's a great, great plant to have, but it's not going to help us because we can't plant it in any of our fields because that would put us over six. So I was really hoping to get a low card here. Um, but unfortunately, I can't go again because I do... You know what? We're actually going to use our special ability cube. Yeah, we're going to cheat a little bit, and we're going to pretend like I used our special ability cube before. We're going to draw two green cards, and we got our Sauvignon Blanc, which will work because I think you can plant two of the same grapes in one field. I could be wrong there. If you know, be sure to correct me, but I don't have time to go through the rule booklet because I'm trying to get this video out pretty quickly. Uh, so... We got our Sauvignon Blanc, we use our special ability cube, so now we're going to obviously give a tour, gain two bucks, boom, boom, so we got our two bucks right there, which also gives us a victory point, putting us up to 12 victory point. We still have three workers left, so next we're going to plant, because, well, we need to plant, and we will go ahead and plant the Sauvignon Blanc on top of the Sauvignon Blanc, so we have a field of six white wine right there, which is going to gain us another victory point, putting us up to 13 and then we are going to we still have two workers left can't don't really want to we can't play a yellow card we can't do anything actually so we're going to pass uh so we'll draw a blue card hopefully it's good give each opponent one card from your hand gain two car two dollars from the bank wow i need money no i don't that was being me being sarcastic uh so i was <laughs> being sarcastic with the autonomous let's see what the autonomous is going to do they're going to draw a purple card which Kind of stinks, because I kind of want to do that. And they're going to harvest a field, which also kind of stinks, because I'd kind of like to do that a little bit. But neither of those are huge deals. So let's see what we got going on here. Get rid of our autonomous card. Unfortunately, we're actually low on money. I don't know how that happened, but we are low on money. We need three so we can trade this worker. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to... Can't draw a purple card because I had to use my grande Gras. This game is never as easy as it seems. So the obvious thing we're going to do is going to fill an order. So we're going to turn in this four and four, four red and four white. Turn that in, and that will allow us to uh, to fill this order. And actually, I think we're going to use our special ability cube, boom, which will give us one additional victory point for the fill. So that's going to give us four victory points. One, two, three, four, and then also one on the money track. Woohoo! We need more money. Um... So that's that's really good. So we filled our first wine order. A little bit of Boone's Farm going right there. And we are currently at 17 points. Yeah, we are going to just crush this right here. Um, so what do I want to do? I don't know. There's I want to draw purple cards is what I really want to do, but I can't do that. I don't know if I want to make wine. I guess we'll just make wine just so we can have it. Because I'm going to, yeah. We'll just make a wine token and we'll turn this 5 over to a red 5. And I think that's probably my best action because none of these blue cards are really going to help me too much. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to collect all of our blue dudes and we are done with year number 6, which means we are into year number 7 now, the final year of the game. We are sitting pretty at 17 points and since we're going to take our rooster right here, we're actually going to have... 18 points already, so this is pretty much predetermined that we are going to win. Unless, of course, when this could happen, giving a tour and planting are both covered by the autonomy. Then, then I might cry like a little girl, because that would really... You know what? I still think we'll be fine. So uh, we aged our grape... Yeah, no, we got to age our wine, I think, so it's up to a six. Let's see what the autonomy is going to do to us this time. So they're going to give a tour to gain two... And they're also going to harvest field. None of that stuff applies to us. So all they're going to do is give a tour. So we have, for all intents and purposes, won this game. 
How do I know that, Bauer? Well, first things first, we're going to plant, and we're going to plant our Malvasia right there, which is going to give us a victory point, bringing us up to 19. Woohoo! And then we are also going to use our Grande Worker to give a tour to gain two bucks, which also, boohoo, is going to give us to 20, which means we've now officially won, but let's see if we can get to that 25 max somehow. I don't think we're going to be able to do it, but who knows. We still have a special ability cube there, so that could potentially help us. And I think we have done all that we need to do in this phase. We can't draw any more cards or anything like that that's going to help us. So we're going to move on to the winner phase. We're going to draw another blue card. Hopefully it's a good one. Fill one wine order and gain one extra point. If we could do that, that would be pretty groovy, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that with our three workers. But who knows? We'll check it out and find out. Uh, Autonoma, hopefully it is not blocking the play a blue card. He is... Of course, blocking the play of blue card, which is the one thing that I really wanted to do. So uh, I don't think we're going to be able to uh, break the 25-point mark here. But hey, let's try it anyway. So first thing we're going to do if we're going to be able to get any more points is we need to draw a purple card. And hopefully it'll be something we can fill. Six white. Can I do that? Oh no, we need one more worker. We're so close. Yeah. I, oh man. Wait. Can we do this? No, because this guy's blocking it. I was going to say I think we could potentially do it, but we'd have to use both these cards. So let me just play this out in my brain make sure the camera is still running. Yeah, we got 25 minutes. So if this guy wouldn't have blocked here, I think what we could have done here is we could have uh, we could have not done that first. We could have harvested a field, and we would have harvested it. We're just going to play this out. I won the game, but we're just going to play this out as if this guy was not here, because I think I could fulfill one more wine order. I just want to check it out and see from my own personal, uh, you know, personal, you know, something or others. There's a word there, I suppose. So the first thing you would have to do is you would have to harvest the field. So we would harvest the field, and that would give us uh, six white wine. So we'd boom, we'd boom, boom at six white wine. And then what would I would next have to do is I would next have to no we couldn't do it because the next thing we'd have to do is we'd have to play right here and we'd have to use our one special ability cube we had left to complete two orders which would not work because we could pay a train we could pay and we could pay and train another guy but then we would also have to yeah we're not gonna have enough moves to be able to successfully make the line and then uh, then do it so that was my run through of viticulture with the first tier mamas and papas I'll pause this and then I'll give you my opinion All right, so that was um, my first solo run through of Viticulture with the Mamas and the Papas expansion, which is the first of the expansions from Tier One, and I like it a lot in a in a multiplayer game, and I like it a lot in here as well. Uh, I've played two or three games of Viticulture now solo with just the base game, and each one I've lost. And this one, I definitely felt like I was in control the whole time because I started with stuff that I could really use and really utilize. Like having all that money at the beginning was like, all right. We're going to go for this victory point strategy and just point, 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 point. I mean, we only filled one wine order. Uh, I also like it a lot. Like, I love this tier, the Mamas and Papas tier, when you have numerous players. Because everybody, you know, normally people have some similar starting strategies, but this can completely change how you approach the game. I think it's an absolutely fantastic expansion, uh, and I, I hope to go through all of the Tuscany tiers that are solo as well as eventually doing my review for the entire game itself. But needless to say, uh, this is our first win on Viticulture solo, so big thumbs up to that. And if you enjoyed this content, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below. And if this looks like it might be your cup of tea, definitely get this game. Viticulture is fantastic, and Tuscany is equally fantastic. So, as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.